two, three. Look that one. Welcome, Welcome to Kids at Home! <laughs> <laughs> a lovely half term week and have been enjoying the lovely sunshine. We have had lots of barbecues and picnics with family and friends and lots of birthday celebrations. This week we are thinking about how important we are to God. How important is that then? Very. Each and every one of us is very, very important to God. Think of the most important thing to you, whatever that may be. Well, to God you are even more important than that. He loves you. He loves every single one of you. Wow, that's amazing. Yes, so just remember that every day. I will. Right, I'm gonna I'm going to go and practice my flips on the trampoline. See you all next time. Bye. There's a famous verse in the Bible where Jesus had been talking to crowds of people, and the adults were trying to keep the kids away and quiet and to stop bothering Jesus. But Jesus said, move out of the way and let the kids come to me. They are the important ones. Everything belongs to them. If ever you needed to believe and know how important you are to God, remember that Bible verse. To him, you are everything. I'm so glad I get to do Kids at Home for all of you. I'm so happy that I get the chance to share God's truth with you because you deserve to know. Have you heard of self-value? is to look after yourself and have self-respect. Treat yourself kindly and with care. That's so important. It's about learning to know your worth, to know that you're worth it. Each and every one of you is so very, very important, beyond value and always, always loved. You are the future. I wonder what you'll be and what you'll do. I wonder who you will all become. I do know it's so exciting and I do know that God has a plan for every one of you. I pray that you hear and know God's truths about you. Now let's worship with Stephanie and Lottie. That's me!
Lord, we pray for the children of Oakley and the youth, Lord. I pray for all of the families in Oakley that they stay safe and have lots of fun and have laughter and have enough money to buy food. I also pray that they're safe, warm and secure. Lord, we bring our children to you from Oakley, Lord, and the surrounding areas. We thank you for them. We thank you for the blessings that they are to all of our lives, Lord. We pray in particular for their time that they spend at school, at Oakley Infant School, at Oakley Junior School, and the, and the various nurseries in our community, Lord, preschools. I pray for my friends at school that they will have fun and enjoy themselves and enjoy every subject in school. We pray that you are with the teachers and the support workers as they uh, look to teach and help to form the minds of our children, Lord. We pray that you will give them strength to be able to do that and wisdom to be able to do it in the best way that they can, Lord. We thank you for those people. They are amazing and we thank you in particular that they have worked throughout the difficult situation of lockdown and Covid. They've taken uh, risks in order to educate your children Lord and we thank you for those people. We pray protection over those people and we pray protection over our young people from uh, the continued threat of Covid Lord. We lift those people to you Lord. In Jesus name, Amen. Thank you for the blessing of all the children in this church. Please help their parents and Sunday school teachers to be unafraid of sharing the truth about you. Thank you, Lord, for the youth groups we have in Oakley. We pray for the beavers, the cubs and the scouts. We pray for the rainbows, brownies and guides, and the Gap youth group. And we pray for the group that meet on Wednesday evenings. Lord, we pray for all groups that meet within the village, the sports groups, the football, the cricket groups, badminton, and many others that I may not know about. But Lord, I just pray for each of those leaders who has responsibility of taking care of our young children. Lord, I pray for their protection, for the children who attend the groups, that they feel that they're in a safe space. I pray for things like the gap, Lord, that we can make them feel welcome within the church, that they can understand that the church is a home for them and a place where they can meet an extended family. We pray for fellowship. We pray for strong friendships. We pray for relationships of trust. Thank you, Lord, for each of the volunteers at these groups who selflessly give up their time for other people's children. We pray for more volunteers to help with children's activities in Oakley. But we pray that each child that is born into this village has an opportunity to experience your love, Lord. We pray for those who don't have family that the community supports them. We pray for everyone that is expecting a baby. We pray that when their babies arrive, they will be healthy. Please bless this village for generations to come. In Jesus' name, Amen.